everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we're going to make a dichroic glass pendant. If you don't know what dichroic glass is, it's just glass often used like in fusing, in glass fusing, and it kind of changes color depending on which way you look at it. And it comes in a lot of different styles and colors and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to make a pendant using the dichroic glass. And I'm just using little dichroic glass shards from scraps and stuff. I just took my little glass nippers and cut a bunch of pieces. And this is going to be the bezel that we're using. I'm going to be using the jewelry clay. It comes in a part A and a part B. And we're just really going to need very little to fill up that bezel because it's so small. So I'm going to take equal parts of both. That looks pretty equal and now I'm going to mix them together. And you want to mix them and knead them until there are no um, stripes going through there anymore and it's one solid color. Once you have the clay all mixed you can put it in your bezel and you don't want to fill the bezel completely because the glass that we're going to be putting in there is going to displace some of it. And all we're needing to do is have this kind of act as a sort of glue. I'm going to push this over to the corners, just like that. And now with tweezers, I'm going to start picking up some of my pieces of glass. And I'll place it in, but I'm not going to press it down quite yet. All right, they're where I want them to be, so now I'm going to gently press down. And you don't want to touch the glass with your gloved finger that you touch the clay with because you're going to get um, fingerprints on there that are going to be permanent and we don't want that. What we do want to do is add some pigment powder and I have this dark blue that I think will kind of offset that color really pretty. Okay, I'm going to just cover the whole thing here with the pigment powder. Now the pigment powder is going to attach itself to the clay and it'll become permanent. Now we're just going to let this set and all I'm going to do is take just a little bit of resin on my stir stick and drip it on here. You don't want to put too much on because you don't want it to overflow but you do want it to hit every area and once you have it full take your lighter run it across make sure you get all the bubbles and you might want to come back once or twice to do that just to make sure you got it let me know what you think in the comments below we'll definitely see you next time in the meantime happy crafting